So we've been asked, what do you do when you can't get up and get out and you're stuck inside because of weather or you have a long to-do list? Well, we thought we'd just show you. We had this trim that kept sliding down and a falling off because right here it was very tight and when the trailer goes down the road it would move it and work it down and fall off. I finally got it on yesterday and now and the trick is to put some little tacks keep the trim from moving. Hey guys, it's a really cold day outside, and what's better on a cold day than stew? So, first thing I want to do for the stew is I am going to set my Instapot to saute, put a little oil in, and then brown the meat and the onions. Enough to coat the bottom. Let that get hot a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so I've dredged some stew meat in flour, salt, and pepper, and I'm going to saute it with some onions. While the meat is browning, let me just tell you, I cook with a three-quart Instapot in the camper just for space reasons. I used to have a six-quart, worked perfectly, nothing wrong with the six-quart. I just chose the three-quart because we have a smaller space. You, I will leave the recipe down below, but the recipe down below is for a six-quart or higher, so you will need to um, literally half everything if you're doing it in a three-quart like I am. Once that's brown, I'm going to add some onions. The meat's just about done, so I'm going to add in the onions. I like a lot of onions, and I usually add garlic at this point, but I forgot to buy the garlic. So, no garlic. as you're doing this that you're getting the bits that flavor bits off the bottom because that's where your burn um, notice is going to come from on your instant pot is these bits down here if you don't get them off cup of beef broth and <laughs> notice that tamed everything down right there so i'm going to go ahead and make sure that all of those little seasoning things down underneath there are as loose as a goose down there so I won't get that burn notice or anything like that on there. All right, so now, I'm, and then um, I'm going to do half of the, the uh, can of tomato paste. I'm going to mix that around a little bit. Now I'm going to add my seasonings. I'm going to add my, I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Since I didn't have garlic, I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm going to add chili powder. Now, if you don't like things spicy, either leave it out or reduce the amount you put in there. Probably not gonna be spicy enough. He's probably gonna add some dinosaur to it, which is a hot sauce, by the way. If you don't know what dinosaur is, some salt, some pepper. Excuse my arm. Stir that up. Now, this is where you could put in your carrots and potatoes. I find that if I put my carrots and potatoes in now, they turn really mushy. So what I do is I cook it for 15 minutes. Then I uh, do a quick release. I add my potatoes and carrots in then. And then I do another 15 minutes and that gets my potatoes and carrots where I want them. Now, if you don't mind your potatoes and carrots being a little on the mushy side, then you could put them in right now and not have to stop and start it. Uh, but because you do have to wait for it to come back to pressure, it doesn't take as long, but you do have to wait for it to come back to pressure once you put the lid back on when you add your potatoes and carrots. But I think that step is worth it. Uh, it on. Make sure it's on ceiling. It is. Now I'm going to pressure cook it. You pull you down here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to pressure, put it on, uh, I'm going to take it off saute, so I'm going to cancel. I'm going to put it on pressure cook, and I want to go up to 15. So it's come to time, 15 minutes. I've already done the first release, so we're ready to open it up. And we're going to add the potatoes and the carrots. Mmm, it's already smelling so good. Okay, so now I'm just going to put in the, the potatoes. I'm going to put in some carrots. I'm probably going to put in half these carrots because, and just do it, just eye it how you like it. You know, I'm going to put in about half the carrots. Problem. Uh, Sometimes the problem with trying to reseal it real quick is that the seal is too hot and it won't seal and so it won't start. A good way to keep that from being an issue is just to run some cold water in the lid. Kind of cool it off a little bit. 
and then it should once you put it in that cools it off enough that once you put it on let me turn it back around <laughs> so now i'm going to go through the whole process again i'm going to put it on ceiling i am going to go to pressure cook i'm going to go to pressure cook i'm going to leave it on 15 minutes and it's just going to do exactly what it did before, but this time it's got the potatoes and carrots in it. Uh, just FYI, if you do end up getting the burn notice, even as careful as you are about getting on the scrapes, I have had that happen before. So if you get the burn notice, go ahead and do a natural release and then just put it on saute and let it let the uh, potatoes and carrots um, just boil the rest of the way, just like you would on the stew on the on the stove. Corn. That's what it looks like when you've added the peas and the corn. This is excellent. Mmm. I'm glad you like it. I need to slow it down. The potatoes aren't mushy. The peas and the corn haven't broke down. The carrots are perfect. Is there more? Mm -hmm. mm. So the answer to what we do when we can't get up and get out is... Pretty much what you do when you can't get up and get out.